this is where I'm sitting right now is basically a swamp. And Derek's done been in here twice and then buried the 726 and we've had to drag him out. This is the line, sitting right on the line right here. In the corner, you can't see it on the camera. I can't hardly see it really, but the corner's right over there. And that tornado blowed all this stuff backwards this way. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to work all of this right here out. This, this jungle of stuff right here. And I'm matting there, that big pine right there. Yeah, right there. I'm matting Derek a spot to that big pine right there, right now also too, to where he can get, where he can get to it. So I'm just, I've worked the tops out of these things, and then as I've got the tops out of them, I'm actually, on, I'm sitting on top of the tops that I've cut out of these trees here. That's what what I've done with the tops. Cause that's what's keeping me on top of the ground right now. So I'm just cutting these limbs out, just working my way over. And when you're running this thing. You're looking at your grapple right here, you're focused right here, but you gotta remember you got a boom and hoses and lines and stuff all over the end of the boom, so it's easy to focus right here and fool around and stick your end of your boom all up in them limbs that are up high up there. So you have to watch that crap all the time because it's easy to tear those things off. So I'm just taking those limbs just like that right there and cutting them off. I didn't have to cut that off, it's already loose. And then I'm bringing them around this way where I can track, I can keep track. And so I'm just, basically the swamp guys understand this. Anybody that runs in the swamps, they understand this. I'm just matting me a road as I'm going and I'm just sitting on top of this brush and uh, just working my way through here right now. So let's see if I can get this one up right here. If I can get this one up, it'll be, whoa, whoa, be pretty good. I'm gonna tell you, if you want to tear a machine up, is start doing you some shoveling. You can you can get in some trouble shoveling wood if you're not careful. Cause it's uh it's very rough. It can be very rough on a machine. You know, you, you can tear up some stuff. So I just broke that one out so it wouldn't pinch my bar. Cause this is just pulled so it ain't gonna matter if I break it on out or not. All I'm is a is a fiber out of it. That's it. Man, you can you get to shoveling. I know uh, you got a guy down there around uh, Metter, Georgia that I talked to a good bit, Zach. They they shovel down there, and, uh, and and TJ over there around Charleston, South Carolina, he does a bunch of shoveling too. And it, man, you can be watching something, and I mean, you can have a tree upside of you in a dead you know, second, man, and not even not even realize it. And very easy, easy, easy to do that. This stuff right here is, is aggravating to uh, to mess with. You just got to take your time and work through it, man. If you got, we we have worked this stuff like this with chainsaws. And I, everything you do, you're about to get killed doing it. All right, I'm gonna get this tree out. Get it. Get the top out of it down here. We're gonna change it for me a little bit. You notice I just hit those things sometimes. I just touch them with the saw because what I'm doing is I'm letting that tree see what it's, how it's going to act so I don't pinch my bar. If you pinch, if you're stretched out and you get your bar pinched, you're screwed. It's hard to, it's hard to deal with that. But if you'll just kind of bump it and let the tree... There we go. Come on, baby. That's a good tree right there. You'll just bump it and let the tree kind of see what, how it's going to react and if it relaxes and goes to a certain point and you just tear it on out, you know. Alright, I'm going to cut this one right here. Pick up on it and go straight down with it. Make sure it's not in a, in a bind like that. Go straight down with it, put a little pressure up on it, let that root ball touch and then start cutting it. Watch how the stump does. See how long. I just wiggle it just a little bit and see my bar come out. Y'all may not be able to see it, but come out. Whoa, 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 shoot. That's what I'm talking about, man. You can get a tree upside you in a second, man. Of 
course, if you were actually shoveling, you wouldn't have a freaking stump to be dealing with on a tree. And you'd be working, <laughs> you'd be working the, the tree, you'd be working the tree a little bit different. I'm working these trees completely freaking backwards from what you would. So it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be quite as bad as like, in, 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 if you were just, you know, just flat out shoveling, it wouldn't be as bad as filling with this stuff blowing over and all it twisted up crap and everything like that. Okay, all right. This little 622 a do. Well, not with that tree. Come on, Kevin. Got some big ones right there. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all what this 622 a do. Thank you. 